Captain, is it on? Is it on? Oh no. Is it on? Last time on Lazy Geckos. We spend time together while our family is in San Diego for our dad's retirement and the Marine Corps Ball. You came along on our journey while viewing all sorts of sailboats during our search for the perfect one. Then we head out on the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico where we get to unwind and just relax for the day. excited to fly into Orlando, Florida for the holidays. We feel incredibly blessed that we get to spend three weeks with our dad, Brittany, and Reese. Our days were packed full with adventures to Disney World, Busch Gardens, and many, many water activities. But we can't forget the most important aspect of our visit, picking out the Lazy Gecko, our new floating home for the next couple years. We are looking forward to being able to decorate and sail our new home all together. Even though we were beyond exhausted from many hours of traveling, we were eager to help out on the search for our sailboat and were very excited when we found the perfect boat to be our forever sailing home. Lately, the geckos have been striving to live a more relaxed life, taking time to enjoy trying new things and being a bit more adventurous. Today, like many days, we left the house without an agenda. While thinking of activities to do that day, we came across kayaking down the Wikiwachi River. Thankfully, we were able to find a company that would be willing to transport Reese's car seat to the pickup location that was five miles from the drop-off location. We have been trying to focus our interest more towards water activities. One of our goals is to partake in as many water events that we can to help us become more comfortable with our upcoming lifestyle change. This has been a bit of a challenge for Reese as he feels 
very restricted with wearing his life jacket full time, but he is adjusting as time goes on. Wikiwachi Springs is one of Florida's oldest attractions that winds its way 12 miles to the Gulf of Mexico. It is located about an hour north of Tampa, and it is also where I spent many summers growing up. The Wikiwachi Springs was named by the Seminole Indians, which means little spring or winding river. The bottom of this spring has actually never even been found because it is just that deep. Each and every day, this 74 degree spring produces 117 million gallons of water that bubbles up from the subterranean caverns. to view the hunky dory at the last minute before leaving for Miami. We had some extra time, so we thought, why not? The hunky dory was well under our budget, and when we came across it over the internet, it looked great for the price, judging from the pictures. But upon arrival, we realized that it was just not what we were looking for, but there was no harm in checking it out anyway. I actually really did like the layout and felt that for the size of the boat, they really utilized the space well. However, it was more of a project boat than we were wanting. We really wanted our future Lazy Gecko to be ready to sail.
We are going to view our future boat, I hope. Um, yesterday we tried out two, today we had an appointment for one or two more. We're not going to those appointments because the second boat that we viewed yesterday, we fell in love with it and we made an offer last night. They came back with a counter offer and we accepted. So this is exciting. Um, we're in Miami. We're going to actually sail it and do the sea trial right now. Put our deposit down. So we're super stoked. What did you think of the boat? I like it. I say we just do a little bit of touch-ups on the gray paint. The gray paint? Keep just it nice clean gray all and sparkly. Off. I'll clean all the poop off. There's bird poop, but um, behind all that, there's a beautiful boat. Honey? I think it's beautiful. Are you excited? Very happy with it, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Jess, Meg, what do you guys think? Tonight. Yeah? Oh, well, I have a lot to say. Let's hear it. Okay. So, first of all, I say we clean it off and get it all, you know, scrubbed up and sparkling. Then I say we add our own little touch-ups and our own little decorations to the whole entire boat. Mm -hmm. And then we bring me on the boat and I can sit there. It's a nada colada. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, basically, the parents make it pretty and then she'll uh, join us. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Floating home is a 1988 O'Day 40. I was very happy to get a 40-foot boat as the 37s were just too small. 
We were thrilled about the condition of this boat as it got fantastic grades on its survey. Our boat has a V berth that sleeps two adults, an aft berth that sleeps two more adults, along with a double berth in the main cabin, plus a settee. It has a sizable head with a shower and a shower on the stern. We really knew this boat was meant for us when we learned that our home had all the added extras. Like working AC, hot water heater, a fully functioning water maker, three anchors, extra spinnakers, a wind generator, solar panels, and it even had safety netting around the rails. The only item the boat does not have that we really wanted was a dinghy. So we are still eagerly searching for Taco, our future dinghy. The day after our offer was accepted, we were fortunate enough to take her out for a spin. Unfortunately, the winds were blowing over 25 knots and we could not put the sails up for safety reasons. We were astonished at how smoothly the boat handled in rough seas once we got out of the harbor. She handled quite beautifully. We were even able to ride down below without any of us feeling seasick at all. After we finalize everything, we will be moving the boat to a slip that we reserved in Port St. Lucie. We will be keeping her there as we come and go, and also while Jeremiah attends school at Chapman School of Seamanship. Okay, so today it's the 21st and we're about to go mail our deposit for our, the boat that we chose. Um, there was another interested party in the boat and we basically had to outbid them like right there uh, and we did buy a thousand dollars and we ended up with the boat. So, but in doing so we agreed that we'd go ahead and make the deposit non-refundable so that the guy felt more comfortable that we weren't going to back out of the deal. I understood. He also, you know, reduced the deposits a lot. Down to five percent. Yeah. So uh, we our deposits five percent and non-refundable. But you know, if something were to happen, you know, we could we could deal with that. But uh, I don't have a problem making somebody feel a little more comfortable about it. We might just have 
uh, surveyor come out for the rigging and inspect it because the normal one, the other guy didn't climb the mast, and a marine engine person come out so we can get, you know, three good surveys on the boat so we know where we're at. During one of our exciting days in Florida, we got to head out on the Gulf for some saltwater fishing. We really appreciate Mr. Kenny taking us out. We had a blast. We got up at 4.30 a.m. to get out there. Let me tell you, it was freezing, but it eventually warmed up. Our trip I got to catch my very first fish it was such a thrill even though I decided not to hold it myself I left that up to my dad even though Megan got her first fish I was the ultimate winner of the day pulling out four big ones. This was such a fun day and I'm so happy that we have it, not only as a memory, but also as an episode of our blog. We can look back on this for years and years. My sisters may have reeled in more fish on this day, but that's okay, we had a blast. with dad and Mr. Kenny. For a while, we were reeling them in like crazy. I can't wait to do it again. In the meantime, while we are working out the details of the boat, we are spending our time enjoying family and our lives on land with our kids and of course our dogs. We have about a month left before we make our final move onto the lazy gecko. We are really just trying to gather all we need and want for the boat, and of course, taco our dinghy. But we are trying to be very smart in selecting our items so we do not feel overwhelmed with clutter in our new home. Each and every day, we find something to do to prepare our move onto the boat. As of now, we are soaking up every minute we have with three of our little lazy geckos before they set off to finish up the school year in sunny San Diego. And we cannot wait for them to join us for our sailing adventures come summertime. Only seven more months and all of the lazy geckos will be together to partake in this amazing opportunity that life has given us. next time on Lazy Geckos. We finish off selling the rest of our household items as we prepare to move onto our sailboat. We get to go to the beach and try out Reese's new Baby Aider sunglasses. We also answer your questions. So send them into lazygeckosailing at gmail.com. You can also send your questions in by visiting our blog at www.lazygeckos.net We are so thankful for our new Patreon supporters. Without them, we could not continue to make these episodes. Be sure to visit these social media apps for our daily updates on our journey.